Hello everyone, Mother Gamer here. Welcome back to another one of my vlogs. Stick with me. Here comes the intro. <laughs> We are in the midst still of a pandemic. It's going pretty great, obviously. It is the middle of July and in normal circumstances, I would be getting ready to start going back to my job, which is a school because I'm a teacher, but that is kind of up in the air right now. To update what's going on in just my county alone, in my state, we've had so many new cases in the last two, three weeks that we are on a level red, which is the second highest level, which means that our county is mandated to wear masks and if we continue to get worse we're gonna end up shutting down again right now we really don't know what our reopening plan is for our school personally i don't think that we should be reopening anytime soon considering our cases in our county alone keep increasing that is not to say that i do not want to go back to work because believe me i do i want to have a normal life again i really haven't been out of the house since like May 5th, I'm going a little insane. I did take my daughter to a pediatrician appointment, but that was it basically. And I've gone to my mom's house, but none of us have gone anywhere other than my husband. That being said, I'm just giving some thoughts on what I think is important right now for this time. Not that anybody cares, not that any of you ask, but it's my channel, so I do what I want. So the last time I had talked to anybody official, the reopening plans were kind of hit and miss of if we're on this level, it's going to be this. If we're on this level, it's going to be this. But frankly, I don't see the purpose in going back to school and putting potentially hundreds of students and hundreds of teachers at risk when we had to drop everything and go online and do all of that already at the end of last year. Granted, the way that school needs to start is going to be completely different from the way that school ended last year because we were all kind of at a loss, just thrown into, well, now everything's online. Where I live, I, had a, I have a lot of students who don't have access to internet. I understand the need to have to go physically to school, but at the same time, I want students to be healthy and I don't want them at risk of anything, especially gathering after being off all summer. If you know anything about students or people in general, human beings, if they are away from people that they like for an extended period of time, they usually are pretty excited to see those people. It's hard to remember protocols that we need to do during this insane time. One thing that I was planning on doing, regardless of anything that happens in school, is I am going completely paper free. I'm not handing out anything to students from myself and I'm not having them do anything that they turn into me physically. Everything is going into an online format, whether they're in school or not in my class. I am concerned with my daughter and I really don't care if I were to get sick. I'm not scared of getting the virus myself. I'm scared of giving my daughter the virus. When I think about people who want Want to push their children to go back to school during this time. I just, I wonder about that. Not that I'm saying that they're bad parents or whatever. I just don't, I don't understand the circumstance in which you would want to put your child's life at risk to go to some place that could potentially be hazardous and be more likely to get the virus. I feel kind of at a loss right now because, I mean, obviously my family's doing all that they can to prevent and to be safe and healthy, but that's not the case for everybody, obviously, since we've had a multitude of cases. We have people going on vacations in hotspot areas and all of these places that have so many, so many, so many cases and are climbing. I don't really understand it at all. I mean, I do understand wanting to go on vacation. I literally would love to get out of here and sit on a freaking beach and do whatever, but we're not doing that. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we don't have the money for one thing, <laughs> but the other thing is even if we did, we are not risking anything like that. It's bad enough that my husband has to go to work every single day and deal with people other than what, what is necessary 
we don't go out. He does all of our shopping since he's already out. I don't know, it's crazy. But I wanted to I wanted to kind of talk about my feelings of the, the thought of going back to work because it's mixed feelings. I do want to go back to work. I want to get back into my normal routine. I want to do normal things again, go out to eat and go to the movies, literally go outside and be near people and not be afraid that they're gonna give us some kind of horrible disease. I'm still enjoying the time off being with my daughter, being able to literally help her grow up at this point. I hate that I have to I have to work, but I need to. <laughs> I need to 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 do things because I it's I'm I'm insane. I'm totally insane. I was insane to begin with, you're right. You're right. You're right, audience who's watching right now saying that. I'm very uncomfortable with the thought of going back to school right now because of the increased cases in our state, in our county. I I feel like if not soon, in the in the very near future at least, our state's probably gonna go back on lockdown because our cases just keep climbing. I want to know though how things are going with where you are. A lot of you are from here, so obviously it's the same thing. But I do have people who watch who are not not even from this country. So I wanna know how things are going for you guys. Are you still under a quarantine lockdown situation? Is the virus pretty much eradicated? Are numbers going down? What's what's happening where you are? This is a short vlog. I was just getting my my thoughts out there. One thing that some some of you, <laughs> I've had a couple people message me on Instagram after the last video and said, where's all your hair? And I said, well, it's atop my head. This is all my hair. Remember that time I told you I shaved this side of my head and it was really cool and I looked really cute? Do you remember that? Well, turns out when you shave your hair, it grows back, which is news to me, frankly. So once this was growing out, it was looking pretty ridiculous, if I may say so myself. So what I needed to do was figure out a way for this to grow out and the rest of my hair kind of match it. So I went to a salon with a mask um, to a girl that I actually went to high school with and she gave me this cute little, um, I like to call it the, uh, the uh, rocker English teacher look because uh, it looks pretty much like the rest of my um, English department does but also it's got this going on which is not at all the same so i cut my hair off that's the answer that's that's where it went if you don't know anything about me really if you don't know me i change my hair every year in some shape or form either i cut it off really short or i dye it a totally different color thank you very much for joining me in this vlog i know it wasn't very exciting but um i just kind of wanted to have a little chat and start restart my vlogs again the next video hopefully will be medal of honor frontline and that will be out on wednesday remember i'm still doing grad school work and it is phenomenal Join me next time for my next video, which is a gaming video. I love you all. Okay, thanks, bye.